I wanted to do just a short video here to show you how to trim a wick properly. Now you'll see a little tea light here on the right and most people try and cut a wick with a pair of scissors but I'm going to show you what happens. If you can just have a look here, all it does is just bend. It, it, will, it just doesn't want to cut straight through it and that can really make a mess of your candle. So what I have is a proper wick trimmer. Now you can get these from a lot of places like eBay, Amazon, uh, you name it. That's what they look like. There we go. And if you can just see now when I cut this tea light, move that over. Oh, straight off, no bother, really quick, nice and precise. And uh, I'll just demonstrate again with this one. You go into about a quarter of an inch and the good thing about these wick trimmers is, is they're like set to a level so you can put it almost on the top of the wax click it and it's actually at the right level so these are absolutely brilliant now if you haven't got a wick trimmer you can also use some really good sharp new nail clippers they work beautifully as well the only reason that i have a proper wick trimmer is because it's got a really nice long stem to it so when the candle goes down you will find it harder with the nail clippers to keep trimming your wick uh, it's really really difficult so these wick trimmers really are worth their weight in gold and um, I suggest you invest in them they're probably not more than five pounds but they last for ages so I hope that's helped you and uh, don't forget to read the other information as to why it is important to trim your wicks thanks